Hello, and welcome to Ian's Battle. Jay here, and I'm going to show you how to make a realistic lava effect. As you can see here, as an example, I have this chaos base. Um, obviously, it has the mark of chaos on there. I designed this for a demon prince model I've been working on. And so, the first step into making this type of terrain is first you want to sketch out the layout of the lava. Now, I I'd like to add about two lava effects to every base. I think it makes it look nice and dense, especially in a group. It makes the lava effect really pop. As you can see here, as I tilt the base up, you can get a look at uh, what I sketched here. One uh, small stream of lava and one small lava pool. So you want to want to take a, um, a brush that you don't care about all that much. It won't be ruined, but you know, it's just not a good idea to use your nice sable brush for this sort of thing. And you want to want to add glue to all of the areas that you did not already sh um, mark to be lava effects. Now we're gonna we're adding the glue so that we can then go on to add a, a basing sand material to the base for the rocky outcroppings that the lava effect that's floating upon the lava effect. Now we're gonna add some coarse grit um, sand basing material, and then we're moving on to a much finer grit sand that's gonna fill in all of the gaps in between and just give it an overall uh, very solid feel to it. See, there it is, tapping off the excess, and there you have it. Um, now, I've just let the base dry fully, and I've added a coat of spray paint or black primer paint to um, just seal in the sands, and we're ready to move on to our first shade. Um, I'm using a dark, a dark gray for the base color. Now, I'm using, I'm not base coating it, but I'm dry brushing it. I'm because I, I want that black in between the sand material, um, but I want it to be clearly defined as rock. So the the dark gray is going to do that. It's going to hit only the raised edges. And as you can see, I'm using a much lighter shade of gray now, which really brings out the contrast in between the pieces of sand. Now, when it's finished, it's not that bright. It looks a little bright on camera. Now we're moving on to the lava effect. So as you can see, I'm taking a slightly better brush, and I'm just adding a very dark red. You want to make sure you get a very, very good coating of this red. You don't want to spill onto the rock, because it won't be so much a glowing effect as it looks like the lava is just pouring over the side. And so next up, we'll be working with a much lighter shade of red. Now we're going to be pooling up different layers to make the lava have a very glowing effect. Obviously it'd be colder near the rock surfaces that are that is basically just dried lava, and it would be much hotter or warmer in the middle. And so the lighter shades are obviously going to be right in the middle. So as you can see, I'm slowly adding a white pigment to my red paint to slowly bring it up to scale. Now you can use white or yellow. Um, you don't want to get too, add too much white to the red paint though, or else you get a pink consistency. And now I've moved on to a yellow color. I'm using a fairly dark yellow, um, and I'm, I'm adding it in very small layers, because um, you don't want the, the yellow to overpower the red. And so you see, if you apply it in various thin layers, one at a time, then you can build it up to the middle, so that the center of the lava stream is much brighter than the sides, you know, depicting that the, the lava farthest from the rocks would be much brighter and hotter lava. Now this next shade of yellow is the brightest um, that I've used so far, and I'm only going to add a very small amount of it to the um, to the very middle of the lava stream. Now it's going to be very overpowering to the other colors, so you want to apply it in very thin coats. And you definitely do not want to get it on any of the red that is very near to the edge of the base. You want that area to remain red. As you can see, there is the finished base. I think it looks pretty good. Um, it'd be a perfect base for like a chaos figure, or maybe even an orc figure. It's very dark, so I would suggest using a very, uh, placing a very light miniature on top. 